In this video, you're gonna learn how to write YouTube scripts insanely fast with the help of AI. But the goal isn't to let AI script everything for you. I'm gonna be teaching you the exact steps you can take to learn how to write YouTube scripts that will keep your audience hooked, that will take you less time, less takes, and less confusion. By the end of the video, you'll learn how to deliver your message using an AI prompt that I created. And we're gonna jump into this entire training because it's gonna be a step-by-step -step tutorial, not only using an AI prompt, but how you should actually script and outline your YouTube videos. So right off the bat, this is the exact AI YouTube script that we're gonna be using. And the prompt is very powerful. It's a complete advanced prompt that's gonna take you A through Z for each subheading or talking point that you can use in your YouTube videos. Now, this is the entire prompt that you're gonna be able to have. You can just grab that in the description below. Now, as we use this prompt, I really don't wanna just give you the prompt and not have you understand what even makes a good outline. We need to follow this YouTube video script formula, and this is what I've been doing for all of my videos, and I really think that this is a great way to get started with YouTube scripting, and we need to know these elements before using the AI prompt. We need to develop a proven title idea plus using a method called outlier research. We're gonna be able to create comprehensive outlines. From there, we can create a powerful intro and hook, then whenever we do a YouTube video, we need to put in our own unique angle so we can differentiate ourselves compared to our competitors. And then for every single section in our talking points, we always wanna have some kind of payoff. So with this prompt, this allows me to create three videos a week, and you could probably even do more if this is something you're doing full time. Using the AI prompting method, you'll be able to overcome the one video limit. And honestly, many YouTubers spend all their energy on a single video and you'll learn how to use AI to help you start multiple videos easily. Throughout this entire process, you'll be able to get faster with production processes and you'll be able to use AI for the outline, for the drafting, and just be able to create high quality videos that are either screen sharing or talking head content. So with all of this said, this is gonna allow you to keep your own personal style and you'll be able to continue creating valuable content that your audience is gonna love and the algorithm is gonna love as well. All right, so we're gonna actually use this prompt first and then from there, I'm gonna explain every single step and also give you some pointers and examples. We're inside of ChatGPT right now. You can use this with any AI tool, whether it's Perplexity, Claude, Gemini, Grok. I'm gonna just use ChatGPT as an example so let's go ahead and enter this prompt and see what it does for us. When we enter this prompt, it's gonna guide us with three different questions in order to get it started. The first thing is what is the main topic of your video? Then the next thing is we need the unique angle or perspective. And then we also need any specific ideas or points that we can give it so we can go based off of those or even better topic points instead of just coming up with random ideas. So you're probably wondering what topic should I even include in here? Do I even know what I wanna talk about? Well, this is why you need to find content ideas using the outlier method or search based method. First of all, an outlier video on YouTube, it just basically means that a video has more views than the channel's average. And this usually indicates that this video is a high performing idea that you could also model for your own channel, whether it's in your own niche, whether it's an adjacent niche or just a completely different topic. You can grab that title formula or the topic and then reinvent that for your own idea. And then we also have search based videos. So this is obviously just designed to answer a specific question that your audience is usually searching for on YouTube. For this process, I usually use vidIQ, one of 10 and also other keyword research tools like Ahrefs. So we're inside of vidIQ and we're looking at the outlier section or feature. Now you can use their filters and we can go ahead and change the filters based on the outlier score, how many views a specific video has, and also we can even lower the subscriber count. And what this is going to do is it's going to allow us to really pick and choose the topics that we can go for that are doing really, really well for a specific channel. So here is my usual formatting or filtering that I like to use, whether I'm using one of 10, view stats, or vidIQ. I normally want the outlier score to be above 10. I want the views to be at least over a thousand and I want the subscribers to be at least within 200,000 depending on your niche. Then I want the views per hour. So how many times this video is being searched for or viewed per hour? I want it to be within above five and then beyond that. And then the video length needs to be over eight minutes because every single one of my videos is like a long form video. And then for the publishing day, depending on your niche, I usually like to keep it within six months since I'm in the AI industry things are always evolving. 
So three to six months is usually a good number for me. So I can go ahead and click on apply. And then from here, we can either put in a specific keyword within our own niche, or you can just scroll through what VidIQ provides us. Now from here, I can look for some title ideas that might work in my industry. For example, this one is going for content farms are getting worse and greedier. I could probably make a video on AI companies are getting worse and greedier. And I could talk about maybe OpenAI or Anthropic or let's say just a random company that's really trying to monetize their audience. And I could make other videos like this is a good example from Greg, how I use Reddit and AI to find winning startup ideas. I could probably recreate a topic on how I use ChatGPT and AI to find winning content ideas. So that's just one example. So you really wanna look for a high performing video topic. Okay, so now that we know how to use the outlier method, we can now go ahead and create some viral click worthy titles. And based off of all the information I explained, we can still continue to generate a list of ideas using AI. You always wanna identify and leverage powerful emotional triggers in your titles. You can also use curiosity that compels your audience to click. Again, you can also leverage the outlier formats and you can easily conduct A, B testing on YouTube. But let's go and look at some examples here. So we have our bad ideas and our good ideas. This one is saying how to save money. And then a good idea would be five unexpected ways to cut your monthly expenses. That is so much better. And then we have weight loss tips. We can go ahead and use transition that to the three week diet hack that melted 20 pounds. And then we have another one for learning a new language. You can go ahead and transition that to speak like a native in 30 days, the AI method. Now, to me, those are way better ideas. So let's go ahead and go back into ChatGPT and add in our topic. So the topic I'm going to be using is how to use AI to find winning blog post ideas. And I got that idea from Greg and I'm going to use it for my own spinoff. So the next thing that we need to do is come up with our unique angle and perspective. So when it comes to developing our unique angle, it really just ties to identifying content gaps compared to your competitors. So we know that Greg used Reddit, but I'm going to be explaining a lot more and using different AI tools to help people find blog post ideas. So combine your ideas and then add in a fresh perspective. From there, I'm going to use or you can leverage your personal experiences to include into your unique angle. So try to use a conversational tone, try to add in your own personal experience, and then also try to include solid evidence to the AI so it can use that as context. All right, so I developed my unique angle. So this is what it is. I will teach my audience on how to use trend spotting tools like exploding topics and glimpse to find blog post ideas. This will then let them find ideas that will be less competitive and grow over time. So become evergreen. Now to me, this is the unique angle that I see myself explaining to an audience, which is also you here. And I think this is an, a perfect idea for my unique angle. Now the next step is adding any specific ideas, points, and this could also help you with your whole outline. And don't worry, if you can't think of anything, then let's go ahead and explain what an outline even does. So when it comes to structuring our outlines or talking points, we could either use AI to help us generate those main content ideas, but I still think that we should try to include our own context as much as we can. But from there, we can organize our content for perfect information retention. And this is gonna help us because of those talking points. From here, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your outline has a logical flow that guides your viewers through the entire video. So from here, we can also address potential viewer questions as we take them along the video journey. And then we can use relevant examples and statistics suggested by either the AI or from ourselves, just like you're seeing in this slide presentation. So the biggest thing is that we don't want to overwhelm our audience and we also don't want to get confused ourselves because we can go based off of these outline or talking points and then our audience also knows that they're learning something specific and if they skip something next, they're going to miss something important. So from here, you can add in your own information and again, if you're completely stuck, you could just have the AI tool generate its own talking points and they can continue improving it from there. All right, so I went ahead and entered some specific ideas that I think would work well. So number one, we can use trend spotting tools to find tools or products to promote, use social media to find the latest content ideas, find low hanging keyword topics using keyword research tools like Ahrefs or SEMrush. We can look through communities. And then I added because I couldn't think of anything else. I said, add more ideas that you can think of. So from here, 
we can go ahead and see what it does for us. But this is going to be the overall rough draft of our script outline. So boom, there we go. We got a really good video outline. It did this for us in like less than 30 seconds and it gives us a hook. It gives us the body. It even just gives us an open loop to keep our in audience engaged. And then at the end, it's also going to give us additional ideas and an amazing payoff as well. So from here, I could use this to continue outlining my content. I can use this to just start writing from. You can add this into a Google Doc or whatever your script writing platform is and then start writing from there. But if there's a few things that you don't like, then you can go ahead and tweak that and improve it and ask ChatGPT or your AI tool to fix a few things here and there. Now, for me, this is really good because we have the topic and our hook is actually pretty good. So let's just go over that. It says, ever wondered how some blogs always seem to be ahead of the curve with trending topics? Well, today you'll discover the secret to finding blog post ideas that are not just trending now, but will continue to grow in popularity. And what is the best part? We'll show you how to do that with the help of AI. Now, to me, that is a really good hook. And that's something that I would use for my own channel. And then from here, we can start off with the first thing, which is number one. Hey, you need to use transporting tools to find blog post ideas. Then I'm going to explain what exploding topics is and how you can use transporting tools. I'm going to give them the open loop. So I'm going to say, but how do these tools actually predict trends that will explode in popularity? Then I'm going to explain it. I'm going to share some examples and also have any case studies. Now it's going to give us that for every single section with open loops, with everything that we need. Now, to me, if you're like completely shocked by this, this is how I was when I first started using this system prompt. So try it out for yourself. Come up with your ideas, come up with your topics. And for me, this is how I'm able to create two to three videos every single week, just using a specific AI prompt and coming up with a unique angle. So this is how it looks within a Google Doc. You can go ahead and format it however you want. But from here, this should be a really good way to start getting ahead of the curve when it comes to creating YouTube scripts with AI. So from here, you can continue to write based off the talking points, or you can just use the talking points as a way to help you structure your videos just like I do. But I did want to show you what it looks like if you wanted to have AI help you write all of those bullet points. And you can use that as your entire script if you're doing like a faceless channel or if you're using a teleprompter. So this is the prompt that we can use. Let's write the script section by section using an eighth grade reading level and solid transitions. Since ChatGPT already knows what our whole entire unique angle is and also our talking points, we can go ahead and have it write the specific thing. Now, if you want to go a little bit more advanced, you can even add a specific word count. So let's do 250 words. Awesome. So this is the first part of our outline. Now it's given us an opening scene. It's given us the narration. So I'm going to say, are you tired of writing about the same topics as everyone else? What if you could take blog post ideas that are about to take off and nobody else knows about it? This is where transporting tools like exploding topics and glimpse come in handy. It's going to cut off to the screen showing exploding topics and glimpse. And then I'm going to say these AI powered tools help you discover trends that are on the rise. But how do they even predict which tools will explode? Then it's going to come up with that open loop. So then from there, it's going to explain what the tools are how to use it and also any examples. So we can go ahead and just copy this into our Google Doc. And again, this is just a rough draft. So now we can just copy and paste it over to our entire YouTube script document and then start editing it from there. Or if you have another copywriter, you can have them do that for you too. So this method will save you time, boost your productivity and help you stand out from your competition. And this is probably why you see me publishing two to three videos every single week, because it really does help me and really gives me more focus. So now you know how to write YouTube scripts with AI. It's your time to go ahead and do this for yourself. And let me know how these prompts worked in the comment section below. I'll be more than happy to help you. You can also grab all of the prompts in the description below. But beyond that, if you want to watch more prompting tips, you can watch this video next. Again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.